Welcome to Douglas Lighting Control's instructional videos. The focus of this video is the setup and configuration of our Bluetooth wireless system. This involves creating the wireless system, connecting devices to that network, and configuring all the room control parameters. Before we get started, it's important for the setup and configuration that the iOS device used is set up with a company Apple ID rather than a personal Apple ID so that information is not tied to your personal device and personal Apple ID. At this stage, the wireless system has been installed and the system is powered. Each device has an LED that will flash at a one second interval to show it is waiting to be added to a network. Download our free iOS app from the Apple App Store. Search for Douglas Lighting Controls and select BTCC, Bluetooth Commissioning and Control app, and ensure that the Bluetooth antenna on your iOS device is on. The basic process for setting up a system is to set up the network, add a device to the network, set up the room, then add other devices to the network and room. It's good to have a plan as to how you want the system to be set up in terms of rooms and zones of control within those rooms. In most cases, your electrical floor plans have this drawn out. Use the information from your electrical plans to name your rooms and zones of control. Let's get started. Open the app and select System Setup. Enter the system information and be sure to save this information for system access, then press Done. By pressing the plus sign, the app will start looking for unassociated devices in the Douglas Control's Bluetooth network. Devices are listed in proximity to the iOS device as shown on the strength meter on the left. First, let's set up a controller. Select the controller, listed as fixture or controller, and you will see its LED flash to confirm connection. The lights connected to that controller will also flash in the room. Press upload to start adding a device to the room. Enter the device name and press OK. The device is now associated and shown in the associated device list. When the first device is associated, the room can be set up. Select the cogwheel on the device. Now you are at the device setup page. On the room line, select the right arrow. Press the plus sign to add room. Enter the room name, set the room parameters for timeout, occupancy mode, zone settings, and scene settings. Occupancy timer can be set from 15 seconds to 90 minutes. Quiet mode, which is used to override the occupancy sensor, can be set from 30 seconds to 180 minutes. This page is where the number of zones are identified and can be named. There is a maximum of eight zones in a room. Trim levels for the zones can also be set in this page. Occupancy or vacancy mode can be selected here and full on or partial on is also an option. The last item on this page allows for a maximum of six preset scenes to be configured in a room. The scenes can be actioned through a wall station switch or the user control app. When the room setup is completed, press done to get back to the room page. Choose the room by pressing Select, then continue with setup of the controller parameters. Select which zone this controller is in. Daylight Sensor defines which, if any, daylight sensor the controller will be controlled by for daylight harvesting. Primary or secondary daylight area can be selected. Unique to Douglas Lighting Control's Bluetooth system is the ability to control emergency lights throughout the UL924 listed controller. By providing a backup power source to the controller and identifying the controller as to be used for emergency light, the controller will be actioned on at 100% if there is a power failure. Lastly, be sure to write all parameters to save the settings before leaving this page. You have now set up the network, added your first device, and set up your room. Continue adding and setting up devices to the room until all have been added. Our next videos will cover the setup of the Bluetooth occupancy and daylight sensor and the Bluetooth switches.